For that incredible, bizarre U-turn from Israel's prime minister in about a 20-hour window announcing a major international plan regarding migrant deportations, then completely backpedaling and scrapping the plan. Let's go back to our Mike Wagenheim, who is in South Tel Aviv, the neighborhood most impacted by this decision. Mike, give us a sense, all of these new developments that are still unfolding now about what plan is out, what plan may be reconsidered. What's the atmosphere like around you now as these plans are being debated? Well, take a look at where we are right now, Jeff. This is the, the changing face of the neighborhood. This is a century-old synagogue here behind us, the old face of Tel Aviv. And we look just a few feet here uh, around the corner in Levinsky Park. And this is the spot where many of the African migrants gather each day trying to figure out uh, how they're going to make it uh, through the day here. This is a meeting point for the migrants. It's, it's tough to tell at this point what's going to come of all this. I spoke with some of the migrants earlier on in the day here just a few feet away. And, the, you know, basically... Basically, what they said is, listen, this deal, this supposed deal only happened yesterday. We really didn't even have time to, to learn about it, to learn what kind of impact it would make, to learn if it would even impact us personally or whether we'd, we'd be resettled in another, another country or another uh, part of Israel. So we didn't really have our hopes up to begin with. And then the fact that the deal was canceled just really doesn't change our status at all. Meanwhile, for the residents of South Tel Aviv, a lot of them looked at the decision by the prime minister today as a victory. But uh, I would advise them, maybe it's not a victory in the end, at least with the deal intact. Uh, if it had been enforced, half of these migrants would be outside the country within about uh, three to five years' time. Instead, all of them are going to remain in this neighborhood until the prime minister can figure out some other alternative.